left the hotel. I just dropped off my bag and my equipment to the company I was working for, effectively making me no longer an employee. I haven't done the official resignation letter yet. Um, I'm going to think about what I'm going to say. Um, I, I'm thinking in this case, saying less is going to be better. And uh, so yeah, right now what I've got to do is I've got to head to Springfield to see if my mailbox has what I'm hoping is in there. That way I can leave Springfield, I can leave Ohio today if this one thing comes there. And then I can just start going, going wherever, where wherever I want. I don't know where I'll be going. <sighs> I know I'm going to go south. I'm going to go south. I'm going to go south, eventually maybe west, I don't know, but south. Um, I really, really want to go back to Tennessee. I love Tennessee. Um, Georgia, I lived in Georgia for about five years when I was in the Navy. I would love to go to Georgia. So I don't know. Let's just uh, take one day at a time though. We need to go to Springfield and see if they got my, my thing that I need before I can leave. a couple things I want to do in this area before I leave, before I leave Ohio. And that is go back to this one mushroom hunting spot that I like so much and check and see if there's any, if any of those um, chicken of the woods grew back. And um, if not, take off to somewhere else and find adventure. I am so happy and I'm a little scared. I don't know, we're gonna see. We are going to see. So let's go look for these mushrooms first and I don't know, then I'll decide. It is 
hot out here. It's hot. Oh my God, I can't wait till I get in the shade. Whew. My goodness. Here's some tiny baby mushrooms. Here's some like I had found before. Um, not really even sure if you can eat them. They're kind of rubbery. And then these pretty little orange ones, they are, where are they on the underside? They look like, uh, I just, I ruined that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick it. This is what it looks like on top. And underneath, there you go. Um, these are all, Betty, settle down. These are all pretty small. I don't know if this one will take root again. Probably not. I probably just ruined it. It feels kind of sticky, but there's a whole bunch of little ones. Whole bunch of little ones. And uh, so I'm going to leave these alone. I was just getting ready to walk away. And where's my stick? Oh, over here. I see these down in there. Now let's see. Oh, I'm just going to pull these away. A nice little cluster. Pretty. Very pretty. Look at those. Those are gorgeous. I'm going to take a nice picture of those. Not sure what they are. I'm going to find out. And if you can eat them, I'm going to pick them. As it turns out, these are the orange Mycena mushrooms. They are not recommended to eat. Um, they're exactly as I was describing them. They're orange, they're small, they're sticky, bell-shaped, and uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there's plenty of information out there on them. You're not supposed to eat them. I did read a little bit further down, and it did say that there are some medicinal purposes for them. You know, like for anti-cancer, antimicrobial. But I didn't really know how to use them, so I didn't harvest any. I just uh, left them there. You know, as I walk this trail, probably for the last time, I really haven't found any other mushrooms of interest. I get a little melancholy. I think, gosh, is this the last time I'm ever going to see this place? Could be. You know what's driving Betty crazy? We've got these these balls that are coming out of the tree and they're falling down and they're hitting and they're rolling. But yeah, so this is probably going to be the last time I'll go mushroom hunting here unless I come back. I don't know. There's been some stuff that have that has happened in Ohio that has just turned me sour towards it. I need to see something else. You know what I would love to see? I would love to go back to the swamps of Georgia. Whew. I think I need to go check that out. Who knows where I'll go. All I know is I appreciate this beauty. It is gorgeous back here. I mean, it's like 93 degrees, but back in here it feels like it's in the 70s. It's just gorgeous. Okay, we're having a heat wave in the area that I'm in right now, which is Springfield, Ohio. Actually, Dayton, the greater Dayton, Ohio area. And, um, oh, look at the park. I wonder if I could go fishing there. Um, and it is just really, really hot. And any further south that I go, it just gets hotter. And it's going to be that way for the next few days. So, what I think I'm going to do, since it is the coolest in Springfield right now, and it's going to be the coolest until tomorrow. Well, even tomorrow it's going to be the coolest. So I think tomorrow I will stay here overnight somewhere. I don't know where exactly. Stay here overnight and uh, just find somewhere to park, you know, that's decent. Pick up some things, some groceries, some supplies, some provisions. And then take off for God knows where. I think what I want to do is find um, like one of the state parks that has dispersed camping where you can just camp for free. You just go find a spot and you go camping. In. So uh, right now I am going to check out this little park here and it's shady back here and it's cool. And then just um, chill for a little while, find somewhere to sleep overnight and then take off tomorrow on my next great adventure. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.